Hey, this is Ryan Ireland from EE Insider, and uh, we're going to do a quick look video on the new matrix field type from Pixel and Tonic. All right, so we are in a uh, sandbox version of Expression Engine 2. I've got the latest build running here, and uh, we just need to download and install the field type. And uh, to do that, you just download it uh, from the uh, Pixel and Tonic site and uh, drop the directory in your third party directory right there. And then we can go back to our control panel and we just can go to uh, add ons and field types. And you can see here is the matrix field type, which is not installed. So we can install that. And it's going to prompt us to install all of the, the parts of the package. There's also an extension. So we install both, click Submit, and now they're installed. If you click on Matrix, you have the opportunity here to input the license key that you'll receive after you purchased it. All right, let's uh, create a Matrix field. So to do that, we'll go to Admin and to Custom Fields. And I'm using right now, I'm using the uh, default site that you can install with EE2, which is the Agile Records site. So I'm just using the fields that, that came with that. And uh, this is the news fields. What we're going to do is we're going to add a news field for references. So let's say somebody wanted to, uh, you know, an article had certain references that it used that they wanted a way to, uh, to list those. And there may be one or there may be 20. Um, so we don't want to create a new field, so we'll use this matrix field. So we'll create a new custom field. And then from the field type, we will choose matrix. And we'll give it a label of references and then a name of references. And we'll just say input article references here. And uh, we can make that required, searchable, show by default. And now we're down to the, uh, the options for the matrix field. So we can set maximum rows. Uh, in this case, let's say we want a max of 20. And the cell type, um, by default, it comes with uh, these three. But there are other uh, field types that you can install to get uh, different types of, of uh, cells here. So you can have, right now we have text, date, and file. And we'll just stick with those. Those are the ones that come with matrix. So the first one is text and we want to give it a label and uh, here we want to have reference name and then for the second cell this will be reference URL and we want to add a third uh, column and uh, you can see there's a little plus button here we just click that adds another column and then for this one we want to have reference date and this would be the date that the reference was created um, and then for that, we want to choose date. And that will actually allow us to select the date from a calendar. Uh, so the short name, we'll just use the same thing, reference name, reference URL, and reference date. We can have individual instructions here. So we can say input the name of the reference. Here it could be paste in the reference URL, please include the HTTP, and then date, choose the date the reference was created. All right, so we have our three columns and uh, instructions. We can also adjust column width, 33% uh, for each is fine, so we're good there. And uh, each one can also be searchable. All right. And we have some other options here of max length. We can set for the reference URL. Right now it's set to 140. We'll just remove that. Let's set the reference name to 140. We can also allow it to be multi-line as well. And for this one, we'll leave that checked. And uh, that's all there is to it. We'll save this. Okay, and then you can see here is our new uh, custom field called references in the matrix. So if we go to publish a, uh, a new news item, we scroll down and we can see here is our references uh, content here and actually let's go and edit something existing so we'll find a news 
item here. So let's see. Welcome to the example site. So here's an existing news item. Now we want to create a reference. So we'll just create a reference, reference number one. And then we can choose a date that the reference was created. Uh, let's see, there we go. Then we have another reference and we just, you know, can title this whatever here and choose a date. We go and uh, we can choose one more reference three and choose a date here and that's it and then we can save that and there we go we've saved all of our uh, reference material using the matrix form now to actually display that in the template uh, it's very simple. It's just using a tag pair using the name of the field and then your your uh, column names as variables. So let's go into our templates and we want to go into the news. Uh, let's see the news comments template. And we'll scroll down and again I'm using the default agile record site. And we'll scroll down here. And uh, let's see, recent news, let's find where this goes. We can put it right here. So we'll say uh, references, open it. And then here we'll have reference name and we'll just put a dash here. Actually, let's do this reference name and we'll link it with reference URL. like that and um, and then we'll close it references and actually let's make this a little bit cleaner here we'll make this an unordered list and this will be a list item here all right, so let's save that. So we're saving the news comments template. So update and finished. And then if we go to our site and we go, uh, it is welcome to the example site. Click on that. And you can see here, here are our references listed out. If you click on them, you will get uh, to those reference URLs. So that is how we uh, very easily use the new uh, matrix for Expression Engine 2. And it's available now from Pixel and Tonic. Check it out. This EE Insider video is brought to you by Expression Engine 2, a quick start guide. Hands-on examples and expert advice guide you through the process of building a website from beginning to end in Expression Engine 2. Available now at eequickstartguide.com.